Stepping on a Lego only hurts a small part of your body, but it sure affects the rest of you. Hey, I'm Dylan, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's word in your life. I was throwing a football around with my dad in the backyard when I caught it wrong and the ball twisted my thumb back and sprained it pretty bad. As a percentage of my whole body, my thumb isn't that big, but you can bet that I took care of it because it hurt. The body of Christ should work the same way, like we read about in One Body by A.W. Smith. Have you ever had a really bad ear infection? For such a small part of the body, the ear really makes a big difference. If your ear is infected, your entire body feels bad. In addition to your ear hurting, you might have trouble sleeping, not to mention hearing, and you could also experience headaches, difficulty balancing, or a loss of appetite. Thinking about ear infections can actually help us understand a truth we see in the Bible. As Christians, we are all part of the body of Christ. We need each other. And like different body parts have different functions, we are each equipped with different spiritual gifts so that we can build one another up and share the good news about Jesus. As people bound together by Jesus' love for us, we make up a single body. When one member has something to rejoice about, we get to rejoice with them. And when one part of the body of Christ is hurting, we have the opportunity and privilege to grieve with them. Now think back to ear infections. When you have one, your whole body suffers and you do whatever you can to make your ear feel better, right? It's similar in the church. When someone who is part of the body of Christ is hurting, we do what we can to help that person feel better too. This is one of the ways we share each other's burdens, like in Galatians 6 too. As we care for one another's physical, spiritual, emotional, and relational needs, we remember that our Savior is present with us through His Holy Spirit. And even when the hurts are slow to heal, we get to be present with one another and rest together in the love of Jesus. So let's dig into this a little bit deeper. How could you ease someone's burden today? When you are burdened, who are trusted Christians you can reach out to? How does caring for one another help us share the good news about Jesus, that God became human, dwelled among us, died for our sins, rose from the grave to beat death, and is one day returning to make all things new, free from sin and its effects? You can read more about the good news when you go to unlocked.org and tap Know Jesus in the menu. Now, as you and I can read in Romans 12, 15, Rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. I'd encourage you to dig a little bit deeper and read 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 14 and verses 25 through 27 and Galatians 6, 2 to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource from Keys for Kids Ministries. And don't forget about the Unlocked app. You can listen to the podcast, read the stories, study the Bible verses, everything you need for daily devotions. Check it out when you search Unlocked Teen Devotional in your app store. And come back for tomorrow's devotional with Natalie, a poem to comfort you when you're exhausted and anxious. But until then, I'm Dylan, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.